Megan Tapper confirms first big meet for 2022. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, let me say thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video once a day, every day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy our content, hit that like button. The algorithms on YouTube love that engagement and it's free. And finally, leave a comment. What are your thoughts on the, on the diminutive, amazing, Jamaica's awesome Megan Tapper starting her 2022 season and confirming her first major meet for the 2020 season. When you're ready? The 2022 season. When you're ready? Yep. Good to go. At five feet, one inch in height, Megan Tapper has been discouraged for much of her professional pro life as a 100 meter hurdler. The hurdle sensation is truly a little smaller than the average hurdler, but this has not stopped her. In 2021, she had one of the best seasons, if not her best season so far in her career. Megan Tapper, aka Megan Simmons, born on the 18th of March, 1994, um, Represented her country Jamaica at the 2016 Summer Olympics, reaching the semi-finals. She also represented the country in the 2017 World Athletics, that's World Athletics Championships in London, where she made it also to the semi-finals. In 2018, she competed at the Commonwealth Games and finished seventh in the finals. In 2019, she was a member of the Jamaica's Shuttle Hurdles Relay in Yokohama, Japan, as well as the as on the team in Doha, Qatar at the World Championships where she made it to the finals in the women's 100 meter hurdles. She was qualified to represent Jamaica at the 2020 Summer Olympics. There she ran a personal best of 12.53 seconds uh, and also became the first Jamaican female and the first woman in the English speaking Caribbean to medal in the finals of a 100 meter hurdles at the Olympics. Tapper rose to instant international fame in the manner in which she celebrated after winning that bronze medal. Now, some of you in the thread have said, uh, in previous threads regarding Megan Tapper have said she was, you know, she was being extra. But people, this is who Megan Tapper is. This is her winning surprising many and winning the 100 meter hurdles national trials in jamaica last year 2021 watch People, that's just who Megan Tapper is. Are you seeing this? This is just who she is. I can't imagine what it's like to be told your entire life that you're too short. Um, and to be written off several times. And to come back and win the national, that national um, trials. Of course, the one's going to celebrate. That is simply who she is. So, the world has fallen in love not just with her remarkable athletic capabilities. Because in 2021... In the Diamond League, she went on to place top three in all of her races after after the the um, the <laughs> Tokyo 2020 Olympics, where she came third, winning that bronze medal and confirming her place, I believe, at either number four or number three world rank 
in the women's 100 meter hurdles. I'm of the opinion that this year she's going to have an even better year. Maybe I, I'm being the eternal, eternal optimist. Now, however, she just confirmed, she was just confirmed for her first major championships. The organizers of the Orlin Cornius Cornicus Cup have announced a, a host of global stars who will compete at the World Athletics Indoor Tour Gold meeting in Turin on the 22nd of February, including in that are the following um, uh, Selman Bargaret to uh, will take on the world um, Olympic Super Chase silver medalist Lamika Grima and of course Jamaica's the bronze medalist of the 2021 2021st Olymp Tokyo Olympic Games the 2020 Tokyo Olympics Games Megan Tapper here you see her winning that bronze medal Great bronze medal win shocked many people, but this celebration, when she found out people, this is why we, we have all fallen in love with her. This diminutive, um, you know, the little engine that could and does. And this is why sponsors have fallen in love with her. Also, um, since 2021, she has signed several major um, sponsorship deals, including Jamaica's very own True Shake, uh, here it is, becoming the first Jamaican female to represent the company. And, and international brand, international brand, ATAC Fuel, um, becoming the first Jamaican, I believe, to represent that global brand. Now, in a, our um, top 10 reasons why Jamaica doesn't have to worry regarding the World Championships at, that would take place in Oregon this year in 2022, um, we predicted that... Megan Tapper is one of our top 10 reasons why we don't really have to worry. I believe, we at Peter Lloyd World believe that Megan Tapper will um, do exceptional things in 2022. And we believe that she will medal, if not win gold. And I know some of you said that's crazy, but we're sending that out to the universe. This is what we actually believe. I think she's only going to get better people. She's still very, very young strong and if you if you if you look at her career she has just literally improved with each year she has gotten better and better and better faster and faster and faster 12.53 is no slow just a pretty serious time and she's ranked three or four in the world and she has proven that she turns up on those big occasions do not count her out i believe she will medal at world championships and um She's, and at the Commonwealth Games in uh, London, I think in London, later this year. She's going to do extremely well this year. This is our prediction here at Peter Lloyd World. Let us know if you agree or you disagree. If you, and if you disagree, let me know why you disagree. Don't just say, no, she not, she not go, you know. Let me know exactly why you think so. I think she has proven over the years that she has just gotten better and better, faster and faster, stronger and stronger. Defying the odds, defying gravity. Yes, five foot one. Very diminutive for a hurdler, but she's a little engine that could and actually does. Like I said, um, first Jamaican, first woman in the Caribbean speaking, um, to in the Caribbean to win a medal, a gold, a gold, bronze, or silver, silver, gold, silver, or bronze medal in the Olympic Games. Note I said Olympic Games. Uh, big up to Megan Tapper. I'm very, very excited to see her perform at Torin on the 22nd of February. She's going to be awesome. I think she's, she, you know, she's the beginning of her season and this is a major, major meet. Looking forward to seeing that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. Remember the goal now is 20,000 subscriptions. We will get there with your assistance. So hit that subscribe button when you do go in and hit the notification bell. So you know in the next video drops, we drop a video at least once a day every day here in Peter Lloyd World. And leave and hit the like button. 
if you enjoy the content the algorithms on youtube love that engagement it people it's free to hit the like button and there's no more dislike button we need the engagement so please hit that like button and finally leave a comment are you excited to see megan tapper back in the saddle about to start her 2022 season do you think she's going to do extremely well in this 2022 season? Do you think she will factor in the finals of the World Athletics Championship that's going to be held in Oregon around, I think, June or July of this year and the Commonwealth Games? Do you think our prediction at Peter Lloyd World that she is going to be one of the ones to watch? She's going to be in that top three. Do you think it's correct? Do you think we're just blowing smoke? Do you think we're being emotional? Let me know your thoughts. Your kings and queens, your greatness personified, believe in yourselves, work hard and smart, avoid negative people. And what we always say, Peter Lloyd World. Bless up!